The AI video generation industry has become insane and people are making everything from AI movies to AI animes to AI ads and we are going to cover the best of them today. I'm also going to show you how to make these AI generated videos for yourself. So let's start with this one. So this is a simple short movie that I think was generated by Runway Gen 4 which is one of the best AI models out there. The main thing I like about this movie is that it has no distortions in the background. Like in other movies, you will see the background get distorted. Also, there are not so many cut scenes and the scenes are more cinematic. So this movie is about a little astronaut who is trying to find life on a barren planet. For some time, he does not find anything, but at last he finds a beautiful flower and then the flower vanishes. So there was not much of a story in this short film, but the good thing is that these types of movies are pretty easy to create, and now they can be created using consistent characters. So you will have the same character in every scene, which is really good for creating movies. This AI-generated video is really interesting because the main character, the creator of this AI video, has cast himself as the main character of the movie. So this is the original creator and this is the character in the movie. A person can see how similar the character in the image and the character in the movie are, and there is no distortion in the face when the character is moving their mouth and their head. This is really cool because in the future, everyone will be able to create these kinds of movies, and those movies will have better quality than this because AI always improves. People really don't understand the implication of a movie like this because they think that it is not that great and not yet at a studio level quality. But just imagine, if you can create these kinds of cinematic movies right now, then what you will be able to create in the near future, like within two to three years, I think by then you will be able to create studio production level movies for really cheap. You can also cast yourself as the main character of your movie and live your fantasy, like becoming a medieval knight or something like that. Anyway, the footage you are seeing right now of Tom and Jerry was completely generated by AI. So you might not at first believe it, because there is so much movement in these AI videos, like the movement of the mouse is insane. And when Tom is moving, you can see that it is disfigured, but you should keep in mind that this is as bad as AI gets. It is only going to become better and better. The animation quality is pretty low because there is so much movement in the scenes. Now, one of the best ways that people use to differentiate AI videos from real quality videos is the animation. The animation in AI videos is pretty slow and people get bored of watching AI videos because of the slow animation, but now it is going to be fixed. High quality action scenes with quick and fast paced movements in AI generated videos are closer than we think. This video was not created by a single person. This is actually a new method that researchers have developed to create this specific high movement with consistent character animations. I think using this method in the future, we will be able to create 20 to 30 minute long full anime or cartoon episodes just with a few prompts. Next up, we have this AI animation. Now let's first watch it, then we are going to review it. <laughs> そして頭脳を外部化してきたのです。えっと、so basically the problem with these AI videos is not the quality but the distortions in the high movement scenes as we discussed earlier like when this character is cooking the quality of the scene is great but the utensil she is using gets distorted when she moves it but other than that every scene in this AI generated video looks really good once we figure out how to create high quality high movement scenes in AI videos, the movie and animation industry is going to be dead as we know it. And we are going to figure that out, just like we have figured out the movement and lip syncing of the characters. In this animation, you cannot differentiate or find any distortions in the lip movement of the characters, which is really cool. We have also figured out the movement of real life characters like this. <laughs> So using this tool, you can basically turn anyone into any other person 
and you just need the audio. You can generate the audio from an AI audio generator. Basically, what you need to do is give it a picture and a reference video, and it is going to turn that person into any other person. This is the reference video and the image, and this person has been turned into this man, and this lady has been turned into this young lady. Here is another example. If you give this reference video and this image to this AI, it is going to create a video of this image, taking into account the reference video. And I definitely don't see any misuse of this AI tool happening in the near future. Anyway, let's now move on to AI ads. So people have created insanely good looking AI ads using AI, which is really great. And you should know that these ads are in no way lower than studio quality ads. The cost of creating these ads is really not that high. You can create one of these ads in 30 to 40 minutes using AI. I think the cost of creating one of these AI ads in AI video credits is around nine to $10, which is really low compared to an ad of the same length created by the normal method of hiring people, which will cost you at least $10,000 to $20,000, a really high amount. You can also create these kinds of AI avatars to promote your product or build an online brand. So just look at this video. Welcome to Make UGC. We're excited to collaborate with you on your next campaign. Let's dive in together and create some truly amazing ads that resonates with your audience and drives results. That was a really short video, but you can see that these AI avatars are really great. One can use them to create videos on YouTube or to create ads for their product. And it's not only the jobs of video creators and animators that are going to be gone by 2028, but also those of Instagram models. Just look at this. So this video was really great. There was no distortion of the main character, despite the huge amount of camera movement. To achieve this, you need to regenerate the same video section multiple times to get the perfect scene that you are going to use in your video. You can see how the AI video generation industry is changing the world. You can just create your own Instagram models and upload videos. These kinds of videos get a lot of views, which you can then monetize by selling a product. Anyway, now I am going to show you how to actually create these kinds of videos, but there are a lot of good video generators out there, and I'm not going to be able to test all of them today. So I am going to show you a platform where you can find almost all the video generators you need to create your first AI generated movie. This is Hedra AI. Here you can find almost every video generator you will need to create AI videos. If you click here in this section, you will see VO2 by Google and Kling 1.6. Kling 1.6 is a really good video generator and it is the video generator I am going to be using today. For this story, I don't have anything particular in mind, so I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to create a random short story. This is the story that the AI has created. I don't really like this story much, so I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to create a story about a hungry cat. Now I'm going to ask it to create an image for the first part of the story. I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, and ask ChatGPT to create it into an image. ChatGPT has created a realistic image of the cat, but it is in the aspect ratio of a short. So I'm just going to ask the AI to change the aspect ratio from the aspect ratio of a YouTube short to that of a YouTube long form video. Now the AI has created this first image in the aspect ratio that I wanted. Then I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And I'm going to do the same for all the other segments of the script. This was the script that was generated by a GPT and it is really not that great and it is kind of cringe. But for this tutorial, I am just going to use this script. I have generated all these images and they look really good. What I like the most about ChatGPT image generation is that it automatically keeps the character consistent, which is really good for generating the story. Now, what you need to do is just download these images. So I'm going to download them, go to Hedra AI, go to the image frame, upload from media, and you can just upload them here. You can use anything. I am going to use Kling AI as it is cheaper than VO2, but it is really great. Now I'm going to describe it as cat screaming. You might be wondering why I'm not using VO2 for this video. It is because it takes 200 to 300 credits to generate a five second clip and 1000 credits is about $10. 
which is really expensive. But I am using VO2 for my personal AI short movie, so subscribe if you want to see that in the future. In the beginning, you should use cheap but good video models like Kling 1.6 for learning. Anyway, this is the video that is created by Kling AI. You can see that it is really realistic. Let me just go to the library and see the video. The video of this cat screaming is really realistic and really good, but there is no sound in the video. So if you want to create sound effects, you need to go to Eleven Labs. In this section of Eleven Labs, you can create any sound effect. I'm going to change the duration to five seconds to match the duration of my video and ask it to create the sound effect of a cat screaming. Now I am going to ask it to generate it and it is going to generate it. It has generated four samples and you can see them here. This is the first sample. This is the second sample. This is the third sample, and this is the fourth sample. I am thinking of choosing the third sample because it just feels right. Now you are going to download it. What you need to do now is open a video editor and import the two videos. You can do it in any video editor, and this is the video with the sound. Now I am going to show you another feature of Hydra AI. You can upload any image, so I'm going to upload the same image of the cat, and then you can upload an audio script. Then you can just send it, and it is going to generate talking characters for you, like in the UGC ads. You can see it can even lip sync with non-human characters, but it is better to use it with human characters, like in this video. AI videos are recently getting crazy. You can actually use speaking characters in your AI videos right now, which is really cool. I am not going to create that whole cringe story that was generated by ChatGPT because I am saving my credits for this new and insane AI movie that I am working on. Anyway, I have just shown you how to create actual good AI movies, not some kind of AI slop. Go and test it out and see what kind of wonderful things you can create.